Thunder Lotus. What a great name. So Spiritfarer has either won or has been nominated for a bunch of Game of the Year awards. And it was on sale on Steam, so I got it. And this is it. I'm going to turn the volume down because it looks loud on the meters up there. I'm going to turn the music down because it sounds loud in my ears. Video's fine. Oh, it's 1920 by 1080. That's an odd choice. I guess it's fine. Uh, let's play. Single player. I th think... Oh, well, one thing I think is I'm using the wrong OBS scene up there. Whoops. Cool animations. Whoops, I just knocked over a Bluetooth speaker. Reaching for my glasses. Ah, oh, finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Charon. I'm a figure from Greek mythology. Spirit the spirit fairer. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave. But I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are... St Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. Daffodil. I see. You too will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over and over again many times in a row. You are the one who's going to be doing my job. Just to reiterate, you will be doing my job because I will be leaving soon. Listen. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. <laughs> it will be difficult, but it will be really simple. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Ever Door. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. Hey, it's a Christianity simulator! <laughs> This is where all the quests get completed, and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Stella. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Wait... What are you...? Oh, how highly inappropriate. Huh? <laughs> well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. 
It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. Spirit Spiritfarer. You are the new spirit farers that are after all. After all. You know what I mean. Just one thing. Oh, one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here, if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. Bye-bye. So, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> so long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. You know, it's funny. I mean, if you replace some of the words in this dialogue with, you know, more Christian terms, this could easily be a game, you know, put out by the Catholic Church or something. <laughs> something like that. Hey, we're here on the docks. Uh, how does it work? Arrow keys? Okay, arrow keys work. WASD is working. Oh, so it's a 2D platformer. That's right. Ugh. I... Oh, my ship! My ship's gone. Yeah, I don't like 2D platformers very much. Press space to jump... Hold space to jump higher. Hey, just like every other platformer. So it's not clear at all what we can stand on and what we can't stand on. Hold W while jumping to climb through platforms. What? Hold W while jumping to climb through platformer. Hold W while jumping to climb through platforms. I don't know what that means. What does that even mean? <laughs> How is that different from anything it was telling me before? Hold S and space to drop down. Hello, crayon person. Press E to interact with a glowing outline. Mm -hmm. Stella! It really is you! Stand up straight and let me get a look at you! Mm -hmm. I look like a nun from your Sunday school class. You look good! And Daffodil is here too, I see. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Uh, it might not be that obvious after all. Mm -hmm. It's me! Gwen! Good thing you found me. Mm -hmm. But if you're here, it means... Oh, you're dead. You are the new spiritfarer, I mean. Mm -hmm. You are the one replacing Charon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck in this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. huh. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm -hmm. Of course. See that boat over there? I do now. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Mm -hmm. 
It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work, since you're the spiritfarer. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. Mm -hmm. I'll explain it all. Hmm, so is this someone I knew that's dead now? Do they know they're dead? Can I just jump? So the animations are pretty cool. It's got a very, um... I'm not really up on my, uh... I'm not an animator, so I don't know precisely the style of animation that is. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Oh man, I gotta go all the way back up here. That's a bummer. Oh uh, yeah! I went flying. Where'd my cat go? Over here! Mm -hmm. Okay, here goes! Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Wonderful! I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Mm -hmm. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Good. And as you're the spiritfarer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm -hmm. Well, it's my theory, anyway. Why are you looking at me, looking at me like that? Mm -hmm. You need to come here and give me a hug! What? Do I, though? New request. Personal connection. Uh... Food, talk, hug. Hmm? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Much better. Oh, it's so wholesome and pure. Hmm. Come with me now. Let's take a, let's take a look at this chaos. Except they're smoking, which is gross. Wait, what was that? Their mm -hmm. mood changed? Oh no! Mm -hmm. What a mess! Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Hey, did you die of lung cancer? Is that why you're here in the afterlife? At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies, right. Let me think. Mm -hmm. There is only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright, and his jokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. We? You must be wondering how to make this ship move. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning on an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. Go open up that cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. I think I need to go to Albert's shipyard. Set sail, Captain. <laughs> the idle animations are funny. I mean, I can see why this game was nominated for Game of the Year, at least. It's pretty cool. I can sit on the couch with my cat. Can I zoom in anymore? Nope. I cannot. How do I... How do I leave the couch? Uh-oh. I'm stuck here forever. Um... Hello? Oh, spacebar. That was weird. I was pressing every key and nothing worked. Until I hit spacebar. So, you want me to do something in here? You really should quit smoking. You're probably gonna die from that. Uh, mood. Gwen's mood. Their favorite food is... They, we don't know what they like. We don't know what they dislike. We don't know their favorite food. 
optimistic about her new journey, was recently hugged. Shops for fibers, shops for threads, uses the loom. I don't know what any of that means. I guess that's how we... I guess mood is a thing. I rang the bell. Hey, how'd you go through the wall like that? Oh, you're on the outside. Alt Harbor. Okay. Is that where we're supposed to go? Hey, it's Albert's shipyard. Let's set our destination. Here we go. What's in this ladder? Is this where I sleep? How do I leave? Stella! <laughs> As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything myself. <laughs> you must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. <laughs> Charon, the Everdoor, the Spiritfarers, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. Well, I've been running around with a happy expression on my face, so I feel like I'm fine. You must be wondering what is going on. Well, no, not really. I have my cat to play with, so what does it matter? Mm. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to make you... I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. Mm. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Because you're dead. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. Mm -hmm. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. What fishing rod? I don't see a fishing rod. Oh, I do see a fishing rod. That just came out of nowhere. I'm fishing. I pressed space. Did I get anything? I don't think I did that right. Let's try pressing E this time. Hold E to reel. There we go. Got it. An old shoe. Huh. The cat's yawning. Oh, I think we're here. Ooh, a fish! A herring! Oh, the cat's very interested in that. Okay. We are here! Mm -hmm. Albert's shipyard discovered. Now head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Mm -hmm. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. I, how do you have a sense of smell from chain smoking like that? Over here! I'm a giant shark man. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. <laughs> Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spiritfarer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha, huh, let me see what you have there. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Charon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. And let me tell you something. You know, we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> roar, har, har, har. 
Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Whew, okay. I feel like there's a lot of redundant dialogue, which I feel like is a sort of a JRPG feature. A lot of short sentences that are kind of saying the same thing, just in slightly different ways. Cat's playing with the ball. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, what do I do now? What am I supposed to do? Do I go somewhere? Can I go this way? Nope. I'm stuck here. How do I do this? Ah, oh, upgrade. Okay, here we go. Blueprint station. We want a beginner one, right? Uh, what happened? I guess I have it now. That's all I can afford, I guess. Exploring Krill is a small-sized boat that will always get you where you want to go. Oh, I already have that. The Intrepid Otter is a medium-sized boat for 1200 A mailbox. Everything else costs money, it looks like. <laughs> there you go. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat! <laughs> but if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. I don't know why I said it weird like that, but anyway, come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers! Building 101. Okay. Are we done? I guess we're done. Finally! Good. Albert gave it to you for free? And he said he loaned the ship to you? Mm -hmm. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand now. Mm -hmm. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. How do I get there? By jumping. Because it's a platformer. Look at all that clutter! Alright, how do we... How do we actually do anything? Edit! Whoa, what the... What? Salvage? Salvage building. Are you sure you want to salvage this building? You'll get back the following resources. Wonderful! Is that it? Is there anything else? Am I done? How do we go down again? Spacebar. You did a wonderful job, Stella! And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Mm -hmm. Newly welcomed spirits, such as myself, will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep. Not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm -hmm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave it to you. Have fun! Okay, so you want me to build a field garden kitchen. How? Guest house. That's what I need to build. Wow, the guest house is huge. How do we know where to position it? I guess we just position it wherever. There we go. 
You can only build one of these. I could also... Nope, I can't build anything else. That's all I can build for now. There she goes. Wait, I can't see. Very nice! Mm -hmm. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work, as usual. Mm -hmm. Now, at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh! Wait! Mm -hmm. What is going on? Something else is happening. Mm -hmm. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Mm -hmm. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. Mm -hmm. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. Oh, lucky for you, you're already dead. Mm -hmm. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. As well as the necessary reef sources. Damn. You require bright jelly. Mm -hmm. And there is only one way to get some. I... Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Uh... Something scares the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. A dark presence. And even I cower from it. A void that swallows all. Light included. I can take many forms. And for me, it is always jellyfish. Jell <laughs> jellyfish. Jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there is no other option. Mm -hmm. I'll have to face my fears. Mm. But you're here. Mm -hmm. With you, I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take some time to prepare myself. I get cranky when I'm hungry. New quest. Um, what? <laughs> so what do I do? <laughs> Are they in there? I saw, thought I saw them in there. How do I do what I need to do? Nope, oh, I didn't really mean to do that. How do I get to my map? Is it tab? Upgrades. Shenanigans. I don't know how to get to the map. M is not doing a darn thing. Return? Can I press numbers? I guess I'm idle. Oh, R somehow brings up my inventory for some reason. I'm looking for a map key. What key is the map? How do we get to the map? I feel like they told me and I just don't know. How did we actually set... Oh, we went inside the thing. That's right. And then we went to this thing. Oh, it's a dark patch of fear. Oh, I can use the mouse. Yay. We're heading directly towards your darkest nightmare. Watch for it. <laughs> oh, what a what a silly game. It's quite silly. I guess we'll fish while we're waiting because there's nothing else to do. Give me a herring. It's an old shoe. <laughs> Cat's got a lot of cool animations. Yawn.
I wonder if you get better stuff if you're faster with your timing. A herring! It's getting dark. Uh oh. Oh, this doesn't look good. We're here we are. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the bright ones. Wait. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. I can't read words, apparently. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims anyway. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out there. Mm. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. What, what do I actually do? Oh. What do I... Oh! Oh! Oh, so I, like, jump on them? Oh, because it's a platformer, of course. That's what you do with platformers. You jump and do platforming stuff. Did I get the thing already? So, do I have to jump on them, or can I just touch them? I feel like all I have to do is just touch them. I also am noticing that I can't get to most of them. Eh. Give me that green one. Alright. Eh, yeah, I missed. Oh, I can't get to that one. How am I supposed to get to that one? There's a green one. Green one coming up. So I can just stand here and let him walk into me. Here comes a green one. Got it. Oh, missed those. It's a very colorful game. <clears throat> There's another green one coming. Getting all the glims. Whatever glims are. I don't know what glims are. Oh, crap. Get up there, get up there, get up there! Whew. Got it. Got the green jelly. Oh, there's a gigantic one coming up. <laughs> Fantastic! Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. And without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Slowly digesting myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, how did we build this thing? It's too dark to navigate. It will be possible again at dawn. Okay. Oh, Stella, wait. Stella has saying something. I gotta build the kitchen first. Kitchen. Oh, I got tons of bright jelly. There's your kitchen. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and, uh, speaking of that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that bell that big bell over there t to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm. Have a good night. Okay. Can we do anything in the kitchen? Cook. I have two herrings, so I guess I cooked two herrings. Okay. So I, it's sort of a crafting and building game, I think. With a lot of animation around it. So, 
telling me to go to sleep. Sleep until morning. Sure. Night, night. Spirit Fairer. What a charming game it is. It's morning. Press Z to toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off. Oh, okay. Why would I want to turn that off? It's very unobtrusive up there. Are you sleeping? You look like you're having trouble sleeping there. Okay, I guess I'll ring the bell. Wake up! Where are you going? Mm -hmm. Lovely kitchen! Mm -hmm. You can use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put on... Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. Mm -hmm. You could even try those loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this! I... I... Didn't I already cook some stuff? I... I already cooked some stuff. Oh, I got corn now, suddenly. Wait. The herring is small. I already... Oh, so I move it there and then I press cook. Oh, I didn't cook the herring. I see. I put the herring in the oven, but I didn't actually cook it. Now it's done. Got my oven mitts. Popcorn! Wait, I gotta cook some fish, too. Cooking some fish. Hmm, fish takes a while to cook. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Okay, have some food. Well, I won't die just yet. Ha ha, it's funny because I'm already dead. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Hmm. Oh, and before I forget, here is something I was supposed to give you. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly wh how it works, but an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay. But something tells me you knew that already. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen in the blueprint table, there is both a field and a garden blueprint, mm -hmm. which means you can grow many different things and turn this ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it, which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. Mm -hmm. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostin Cave. No, it's called Mostin Cove. And there's something in it we need. Ugh. Words. Oh, I thought I heard my dog throwing up behind me, but I guess not. Oh, the cooking's done. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you when we get there, to Mostine Cove, that is, what we need. I will tell you, that is, new destination. Wait, I'm getting my fish. I need fish. Grilled fish. Yeah. Well? Well, see you. Well, you see... <laughs> don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. <laughs> Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. 
They look like classic mythical challenges again. Mm. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Ha. Oh. Well, I feel like I've uh, seen enough of this game for a first look. This is Spiritfarer, a game which has gotten nominated for Game of the Year. I can see why. It's a pretty cool game. Lots of cool animation. If you like animation, it's a very cool sort of hand-drawn looking animations all over the place. Sort of an adorable Saturday morning cartoon game. It's a cool game. Um, I don't know how much more I'm going to play, but it's cool. Glad I saw it. This has been Spiritfarer. See you later.